Good afternoon. This is not an easy message to communicate or give to you, our loyal supporters, who have been so looking forward to our festive big game match at Twickenham. I won't go into the specific details in this message, but we will ensure that what we do publish quickly answers all of your understandable and imminent questions. For the past two weeks, and in particular, the past two and a half days, we have been working around the clock to understand the logistical impact of the industrial action. And we have been doing everything in our power to avert the unfortunate outcome that we have not got any choice but to postpone and to move big game from our long planned date of the 27th of December. I should stress the information flow has been difficult and has changed on many occasions and has been making it very difficult to plan and execute on this basis. Unfortunately, as the match looms, time has run out for us to allow the process to resolve naturally and for us to take decisions that could have some sizeable financial implications for the rugby club. This event does not happen overnight. Despite being a West London and Twickenham based club, it takes an enormous amount of meticulous planning, effort and execution to deliver a sellout event at the home of English rugby. Through decisions and circumstances that are entirely out of the club's control, the reality is there is simply not enough of a transport infrastructure to accommodate a large scale event at Twickenham Stadium on the 27th of December. In partnership with the RFU, who have been in regular communications with South West Rail, we do not have a station or a rail network to support the movement of our fans to come to the match. To say we are devastated as a club would be an understatement. We see ourselves as the flag bearers of what is exciting and innovating in our sport. We have been showcasing the very best reflection of English rugby for the past two years. And the late change to this sellout event in its 14th edition at Christmas is a devastating blow, not only to all our Quinn supporters, but to all Londoners and rugby fans who connect with this wonderful experience. I am truly sorry that for the actions that we have been forced into taking today, please be assured that the timing of this was not within our control and nor the actions that have led to this decision being taken. We have though to find the best way to come through this as strongly as we can as a club. By moving this fixture back to the stoop, it means we have a significantly better chance to fill our home ground and ensure that the fixture is delivered in front of our usual passionate and fervent home support. The double header at the stoop on the 27th of December will still need your unwavering support and it will be a wonderful occasion. In addition, we have to find a way to deliver the first of our annual Twickenham events. This is why we have taken the decision to move big game to the weekend of the 4th, 5th of March when we are due to play Exeter Chiefs. And we can now look forward to delivering the same event with all the same inclusions as we were planning for the 27th of December. Big game will take place this season. We will deliver a wonderful opportunity to engage with our club, our league, our sport on the biggest of stages, and we will continue to need your support to do that. I want to place on record the huge amount of effort that the team have put into ensuring we have a fixture to deliver on the 27th at the Stoop and the effort that has been delivered to move this event to March. I am sorry that we are in the crossfire of this situation and actions and decisions that shouldn't affect us are having a profound effect on our business and our supporter experience in this way. Your patience, loyalty and support remains the daily driver for us all. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible getting behind the teams on the 27th at the Stoop and I thank you for your continued support to everyone in the club.